Hello everyone, it's Carbs here with another Ace Bright Toolbar, Ben's Brush. Ben's Brush allows you to do some really neat stuff with Ace Bright's custom brush system, like having an almost unlimited amount of brushes and being able to quickly swap between them. You can even have the tool select a brush at random. It's also really fun to play around with, with the spray brush and even the curved line tool. As of version 2.0, installing the tool has gotten even easier to install and get started. Once you've got the tool downloaded, I'll put the link down in the description of course, you'll just have to simply double click on the extension file. This should bring up a spray and show a prompt asking if you want to install. If you don't see the prompt, try opening a spray and dragging and dropping the extension file into the window. This is the same menu that you would get if you go to Edit, Preferences, and then down here to Extensions. You can also add extensions here as well by pressing the button. Alright, so if everything's installed correctly, it should be an Edit, Ben's Brush. I'm going to navigate here and here's my brushes that I want to use. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in here. We're going to select the area for the brush. So that's a single brush and hit set brush size. Uh, as of 2.0, this actually takes in the account, the grid size already. So if you've already have a grid set up, you don't need to do this step in the future or now even. <laughs> So now I'm just going to highlight the grid spaces that I want to use as brushes. So let's say I want to use uh, these brushes here. And I'm going to hit create brush set. And now when I hit the next button, you'll notice that we have our brushes. So here's this one. You can hit next. We have the next one. So as long as we keep the file open in the same window, we can go ahead and use our brushes on any of the other tabs here. So I could do next brush. You can do here. We could do paint this. Next brush, next brush. Uh, we can also have the tool choose the next brush by random, by toggling on the choose random. You'll see now that I get a random brush. So we got trees, and then we have this. We have this guy here. So it's just picking at random through our brushes that we set up. And this is nice for some like variation, you know? If you have some dithering brushes or something and you want to change it up a little bit and they're not really sure which brush you want to choose. We can access the hotkeys under edit and then keyboard shortcuts. And then up here, we're just going to search for Ben's brush. There it is. So here it is. Ben's brush. I've got mine set to space B to open it and then next brush and previous brush. And this will allow us to switch through the brushes a little bit more easy. I've got a couple of brushes here from Clockwork Raven's mining uh, tile set. And if we jump back over here and use it with the curved line tool, the set of gems kind of looks like a cable. And then this piece here that I've created looks kind of like a wall. We could even fill this in with the uh, stone texture by using the fill tool. I mean, it's not the best example, but uh, you know, you kind of get it. It's fun to play around with. Okay, so there's one more feature that we haven't gone over in this update, which is the create rotated set. So if I go over here and I grab our uh, little gem guys here, we'll give it a little extra room. So we'll just select this whole area and this will make it so that when it rotates, uh, it'll have enough room to rotate the brush around. So we'll go ahead and set that. And now if we copy and paste these over to a few cells or grid spaces, uh, you can do this with control and alt. 
Uh, it'll copy over and it'll align with the grid. So we'll just select all of these. You can double click and drag to do a selection by the grid size. And then we can hit create rotated set. And this will go ahead and depending on how many brushes we had inside the grids here, uh, it will rotate it by a certain degree, uh, which will get us all the way back around 360 degrees. So we hit next brush and there it is. So we can rotate this around and rotate it the other way. So then we can draw with it at different angles using a custom brush, which is pretty neat. Something to keep in mind when you're using Bounce Brush, each time you change brushes, uh, it does create an undo action. So if you've done this a bunch or you've made, you know, you've spun the brush around a bunch, uh, it is gonna create a bunch of undo actions. Um, if you want to go back up to undo something that you did a little while ago, you can always open up undo history and that's in edit undo history. Uh, and you can just kind of scroll up and uh, click on the thing above the transaction. Uh, and that'll get you to uh, where you need to go without having to undo a whole bunch and potentially undo too far. All right, so that's going to be it. Let me know below what you might use the tool for, or if you're already using the tool, let me know what you think. If you'd like to share what you've made or what you're working on, send me a tweet at CarbsCode. I'd love to see. I've put all the links down in the description, along with timestamps, if you ever need to review any section of this video. If you'd like to keep up to date with all the tools and projects I currently have in the works, be sure to follow my page on Itch. By doing so, you'll be notified if I post any updates or release new tools. You can even find a link for this in the help and info section if you click on this button here. And view all Carbs Code projects. You can also report bugs and make feature requests if you click on this button here. If you'd also like to support me by subscribing to the channel and making the algorithm bots happy by leaving a like or commenting down below. Hope to see you soon with more tools and exciting updates. Thank you so much for all the support and kindness. Hope you all have a great day and uh, brush brun, brush brun. Ah, be sure to brush your teeth because Ben's brush won't do that for you yet. Okay, enjoy. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.